Hello everybody and welcome back to Cracked Up Games. We're going to be picking up right where we left off, looking for World 3 and Ukulele. Uh, we just made it to the archive and... interesting. Got enemies behind glass there. Uh, they can stay there for all I care because I don't like those guys. Oh no! That's... not exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, let's see, switch in there. The sign is kind of falling over. Uh, da -da, over. Oh, hello, Trouser. Yeah, yeah. Over here. Hey, Trouser, what are you doing slumped in this shady corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being shady. Got another free maneuver for you, but this one needs to stay off the books, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This next move was taught to me by a wise grandmaster. Uh -huh. Wow, that sounds impressive. What is yeah. it? With this ancient buddy bubble technique, you can wield the power of the ocean and walk underwater. Okay, so that's probably what I need to hit that one switch in Charles Tech Tropics underwater. <laughs> Finally, something useful. How do we master these powers, worm yeah. boy? First, take a deep breath, then when underwater, push right trigger to release your gulp as a piping hot water bubble. <laughs> eh. Uh -huh. Is there a more, um, socially acceptable method for walking underwater, Trouser? Yeah, yeah. Not for free, there isn't. Why don't you try out your new move in that aquarium over there? Sure. If I can figure out how to actually get up there. Oh, here we go. That was actually a very convenient camera angle. Thank you, game. Unfortunately, I see this Pagey over here, so I'm for what looks to be a door maze. You go away. Whoop. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and see where this leads me. Back here. Okay. Yeah, I saw that little opening a little bit too late. I really, really don't like these guys. They just seem to kind of decide to be invisible or invincible whenever they want to be. Uh, more doors here. That was... what? Huh? Okay, well, I found the page. That was... strange. It's like that little stack of books in the corner there was blocking me from actually going through that door. Even though it was the wrong door anyways, apparently. That was weird. Uh, what am I hearing? The waterworks. Oh no. Well, I hear the pagey in that cage you found there. Here where I was hoping to be done with water. Uh, what are you? Right, um, so, go on with water, hold my breath. Can I, like, fight these guys now with this? If I can actually control my direction? Uh, nope. Can't fight them with that. Oh, okay. If I stun them, I can then hit them. Yeah, uh, these water physics don't really control like water physics. They feel like ice physics. Uh, 
Uh, is that the next one I'm supposed to go through, or...? Hold on. Oh, okay, I guess it is. It looks transparent, so I wasn't really sure. Okay, there we go. Got another pagey. Okay, I will say I actually really like this power. Um, being able to walk around underwater takes a lot of the edge off of swimming and stuff. Gives me a little more control, a little more freedom to look around, don't have to worry about drowning. This is one of the best powers that I've seen in the 3D platformer. <laughs> oh, another area? Another path to try to stack tropics? What does this need? Yuka, you okay? That kind of dead, soulless stare you were giving me is a little concerning. Alright, so I think that looks like about it for the actual. What the heck are you? What am I looking at? That's intimidating. Uh, don't know what the heck these are. Hello? five are in that direction apparently. So I'm guessing just based on that being there that whatever I use to interact with those is going to be something I'm getting in the third world. Uh, okay. Stay back you ugly evil corporate minions. You'll never take me alive. Kung Fu kick! What? Uh... That was unexpected. Oh dear, at least he didn't develop Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, I don't even know if I can actually get this page here yet. Back off! I know origami! Uh, good for you? That's not a martial arts style. that, I'm assuming it's like an invisibility power that I need to get past those security cameras, so maybe that can help with catching him? Um, I don't know if I get that in this world or if that's going to be in one of the other ones, but stop being creepy, pumpkin. Need seven of us pages to unlock this world. Do you want to unlock Moody Maze Marsh? Sure.
I will say the symbol for it being like an octopus tentacle is kind of unsettling. Remember, you can choose to expand this world once you found eight pages. Just stand on the Grand Tome switch when you're ready. We remember, Goldie. Extra scenery, more annoying characters to help. Eh, the previous world didn't really have more characters. Yeah, didn't really have any others. Huh. Don't know how this world is going to work. I wonder if it'll work differently from the previous two, or if it's just going to be like a basic, just more stuff to do. Okay, there's another of those things up there. So it looks like when you use this bubble power, you're not affected by the underwater currents. You're able to just walk through normally. Uh, Alright, so... First objective, like with any new world, is to find Trouser. Uh, up. Uh -huh. Hey there, Mr. or Mrs. Pumpkin. We're on the hunt for Pacey's. Have you seen any? Hello, Lizard. Piece of paper get caught in trap over there. Trap activated by sound of splashing. So Lizard keeps feet trapped. Huh. Okay. Uh. Thank you for the advice. Right, huh. so glide over to here. And then maybe Lizard? Um. Huh. Okay, like, there's not a lot I could have done about that. I'm on a buoyant platform. There's not a lot I can do to avoid touching the water when the platform sinks. There. Strange. Oh, there's Trouser. Okay, that was convenient and easy. Welcome, friends. How lovely to see you. How did you get here before me? Alright, Sausage Features. The feds haven't caught up with you yet, then. I've been thinking about launching a Trouser-patented drone delivery business. The new moves delivered right to your doorstep, along with an expert instruction video by myself. What do you think? I wouldn't trust you to deliver my takeaway. Super. Great to have your support. Now, why don't you have a look at what's in stock? Gladly. Okay, uh, Lizard Lash, Sound Explosion, only two moves. Uh, I can fortunately afford both of them. Yeah, yeah. Top choice, are you sure this is the move you're after? Yeah, yeah. This next move won the three consecutive Sales Snake of the Year awards. <laughs> How does a move win you a Sales Award? Unless it's rubbish and you manage to shift it? Yeah, yeah. They must have recognized my meticulous technique. <laughs> Ridiculous physique, more like. Uh, uh. Layla, go on, Trouser. What do you have for us? Yeah. With Lizard Lash, our Lizard friend will be able to attach to special grapple points by facing toward them and pressing B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can launch across gaps, attach to scenery, and more. Uh, uh. Sounds great. We'll come back if we need a reminder. All right, so let's see what sonar explosion is. Yeah, yeah. Next move is a bit naughty. Don't use near glass. Yeah. With Sonar Explosion, you can emit a devastating sonic boom to stun all nearby enemies. That actually sounds very handy. Sounds decent. I'm cautiously optimistic this won't be rubbish. How does it work then, Wormy? Yeah. To use Sonar Explosion, simply hold left trigger and press Y. Yeah. You might want to purchase some migraine tablets, too. This move's a real headbanger. So that'll actually help me, because there was the area like back in Travel Stack Tro Tropics where there was that pipe that the page he was in that the glass was cracked. So I'm assuming Sonar Explosion is used for that. That is actually cool. I like that. Oink. 
There we go. And there's the Lizard Lash. Okay, so... I will say up front, I'm marginally concerned about exactly how open this level looks. Um, I know they're all kind of open. This one's in a weird middle ground. It feels both open and kind of cluttered all at the same time. And it's kind of feeling like it might be a little bit difficult to explore with how dark it is. Alright, I'm assuming these spiky things are gonna like pop my bubble if I touch them. Yeah, kind of like that. Come on! Get in there! Alright, let's just go swim over these so I'm not running into them. I almost made it, but not quite. Alright, let's try this again. Again, I really wish it didn't show like these little cutscenes every single time you activate a switch. It's like once you've seen it before, unless you're like coming back to it way later or something, it just kind of feels like it wastes your time a little bit having to see it again. Come on, get in there. Thank you. Alright, uh, is there an echo on me? Yes, there is. Where does this put me at? Yes, I can, actually. And I hear a page. Pumping plant. So... what do? So I can't actually get over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, come on. No, come on. No, no, you betrayed me. Alright, so it doesn't look like you can use it. Okay, you can use it in that air. Oh, I am hearing the blue ghost rider somewhere. Hold on. Let's go back to this area. Where am I hearing it at? Did I just see a flash over here? 
Maybe the sonic explosion can't reveal it. It has to be the regular sonic blast thing. There we go. Okay. So I've got my first ghost rider in this world, and I got a new tonic in the process. Neat. All right. So I'm assuming those thorns are like thorns, and touching them is not in my best interest. going on over there. Alright, so where am I? I guess over there is where Trouser was? Um, so I'll explore more of that area later, I guess. Um, look around over here for now? That is fun. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, I'm playing Frogger now, apparently. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, hello. On the yellow ghost rider. Avoid the spiky spike ball things at all costs. And let's see what's on the other end of these lily pads. Uh, breakable. Oh wait, are you glass? Ah, there we go, okay. So with that I can get the last Ghost Rider in um, Glitter Glaze Glacier though. That's what I needed for that. That's a thing that they do. Help, 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 help. Oh, I see Rextro's arcade machine over there. Ow. 
I really wish I'd stop doing that. Go away. And over there is Dr. Puzz. Ow. God, Jesus. Okay, uh, what am I actually trying to do right now? Hitting all four of these within a certain amount of time or something? I guess mm -hmm. I just made a uh, shopping cart? Wow, you've already sorted out those switches for me, and I didn't even have to ask. Uh, where are you? That it robbed us of all kinds of fascinating exposition. Hmm. Here, take this bit of paper I found in the clogged pipe as reward. You deserve it. I don't know who, what, or where you are. You're like a shopping cart, but... What? section here. Okay. Doesn't this pipe see what's in here? Not like I actually want to. Swampy station. Oh. Right. This is full of bees. Okay, I guess it can't break that. Weird. No. This one. Jesus. Alright, chasing this thing with ice physics in the last level is bad enough. Now I have to chase it with underwater ice physics. Explosion's not what breaks that glass, then I don't really know what is. Ow. Okay, I need to get out of here. <laughs> There's something after I expand the world. Alright, so... 
Uh, videos running a bit long, getting to about 30 minutes of now, so... Um, oh, it's looking like a racetrack. Is Nimble here again? Um, but yeah, like I was about to say, I may try and get one more cagey and call it here, or at least something that's kind of worth ending the video on. Uh, I'm not sure what's over there. Let's go inside this and see what we have in store. Uh, what is this camera? Oh, Christ, what are you? Hey, up, who's this fella interrupting me, Brew? Uh -huh. Don't mind us, we're just here to pick up the page. We'll be on our way shortly. <laughs> Hold up, are you saying I've just missed the start of me soaps because you pair of trying to lift me favorite tea cozy? No harm done, you can always get it on catch up later. Then have it spoiled on social media. Corn, now you've done it, lad. I'm gonna have to squash you, ain't I? Oh, I'm sorry, did I just find a boss fight without actually having to expand the world? I didn't expect that. Okay. Oh. Tentacles covered in eyes. I don't like that. <laughs> so, I guess this is what we're gonna be bending the video on. Ow. Except that I'm probably about to die, unfortunately. Can I get some health, please? That's why. Ow. Okay, these shockwaves are dangerous. Oh, that one was just wasn't even fair. I was trying to dodge. Ooh, I can this music though. Alright, after I squash you, I'm gonna use your remains to stir me brew. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. So apparently the tentacle moving around will just hit you on contact. Alright, I'm determined to do this boss fight, though. So, sorry this video may run just a little bit long. Hey, I'm back for more, are ya? I have the tent icon. I didn't actually notice that last time. Okay. Alright, Trev. Let's do this. Now let's not get hit by that. Right, let's try and actually dodge these shock waves a little bit more this time. Again, love this boss music though. Oh, come on. Hit. Okay. Yep. Not liking these slippery water physics when I'm having to run from a tentacle. Possible just because it gives better control. Arr, like to play sucky eye, do you? Or oh, I'm the swamp champ. Okay, but like if he didn't actually peek his eye out through the grates, he wouldn't I wouldn't be able to actually do anything about it. That's kind of the only reason I'm really able to hurt him, other than hitting the eyes on these tentacles. 
I don't even know what benefit there is to him peeking his eye out of those, because he doesn't seem to actually do anything. Come on, come on, one more hit there. Alright. So hopefully this is the last phase. Oh, come and have a go if you think you're odd enough. Okay. This just got harder. There we go. Oh, I am sorry, sir. I didn't mean to knock you out. Flippin' heck, you've given me a right seeing too. <laughs> that many eyes, you'd have thought he'd have seen that coming. <laughs> Go on then, take the tea cozy. It's the doghouse for me when Tamisus gets home. <laughs> Again, I am sorry for knocking your eye out. That was not my intention. <laughs> Where did these little yeah. guys? Um. Alright, so, yeah. Uh, episode went a little longer than intended, but uh, this is an interesting world. Uh, not quite as, like, spread out and difficult as I expected, although I'm not looking forward to the underwater portions, and still don't know what's going to happen when I expand the world. Um, may find that out in the next episode, though, because it doesn't look like there's too much more left for me to do before expanding it. Um, why am I seeing two shopping carts characters on the pause menu? Weird, I haven't even found the one yet. Uh, anyways, um, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like. If you enjoyed, I mean, if you have any suggestions for how I can improve or any other comments you'd like to share, consider leaving a comment. If you like what I do, then consider subscribing. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.